What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today we have got the Legends of FIFA episode. Uh, so many players in the past FIFAs have been overpowered as fuck. Just gonna, that, that, that is all you can say, they've just been overpowered as anything. People have used them over and over and over and over, over again and they've just destroyed defences since FIFA 10. So, last seven years, basically, of Beast players. Today I found two of them on this current FIFA, I didn't actually realise they still existed in this FIFA, they're both a silver and not French. Uh, we've got the now centre-back, Tay Taiwo, who's playing in the Finnish league, and the right forward, Michael Nieto, who now plays in the Mexican league. So three, four, two, one formation. They're a bit different, but I thought we'd try it out and see how it got on. In goal, we've gone for Geronimo Rally from Raul Shoshia. Dad, 85 diving, 86 reflexes, 79 handling, 70 kicking, and 80 positioning. He's six foot two, and he is a pain in the arse. He played so poorly for the first few games, and then the last set of games, he just pulled out save after save after save after save, and he was insane. It's insane. It's incredible how well he actually ended up playing near the end. Two tens backs we've gone for, uh, as well as Tay Taiwo, is Matteo Masaccio and Gonzalo Rodriguez. 63 pace, 84 defending, and 76 physical on Matteo Masaccio. He's six foot tall, medium, medium work rates. Um, he's a bit of a beast. For, for his lack of pace, he's actually really good. Gonzalo hit Rodriguez as well. 68 pace, 85 defending, and 77 physical. He's six foot tall as well. However, he does have medium high work rates, which is a bit more helpful. Uh, and a three at the back. He costs, you know, about a thousand coins, and he's very, very solid. One thing about this team, I did get caught on a counter attack a hell of a lot, but managed to catch up with them using Taiwo or the keeper. Yeah, actually came good and made a save. Taiwo though, his 81 pace, 71 uh, defending, and 76 physical. He's six foot tall, high medium work rates. He's still got a rocket of a left foot when it comes to a free kick. However, I did not get to use him as effectively as I wanted to. He is pacey as anything. He is strong. He is basically like he was at FIFA 13, back at left back for AC Milan with that 75 rated card, 88 pace or whatever it was. You know, he's basically just gone back to that old self. He was insane, he was so good, and he does get a nice little perfect link to this man out on the left mid. His name is Aud Odomardi, I think is how you pronounce his name. Our right mid is, we also use our right mid, it is Rafinha from Barcelona. 77 base, 87 dribbling, 76 shooting, 81 passing, and a 4 star we for 4 star skill moves. Cost me 18k, got one goal in these 6 games, you know, he's not too bad. He was okay, he did break up the play quite well. And uh, he was more playing right wing back than anything. Uh, Udamadi was playing sort of left wing, left mid. Sorry if you can hear noise in the uh, outside of my room. 94 pace, 73 dribbling, a three star weak foot and four star skill. He's cost 500 coins and it got two assists in six games. So yeah, he didn't do too badly. He actually played really well. The whole team played really well, to be honest. Um, I was quite shocked. Two cents we've gone for are Allen and we've also gone for Carlos Sanchez. Not the dear Carlos Sanchez. We'll swap them to around because that's the way it went. We'll start with Sanchez. Why not? 67 pace, 70 dribbling, 72 defending, 69 passing and 85 physical. Six foot tall, high medium work rates. Didn't contribute to any goals whatsoever, but he was quite solid. His CDM naturally moved him up to centre mid, added a bit of defensive um, aspect to it, as we did with Allen. 77 pace, 78 dribbling, 76, uh, sorry, yeah, 76 passing, 79 defending and 80 physical. He's five foot at nine high medium work rates one goal in eight games collectively and that one goal did come in this team we'll move up to the left forward and it is a mexican league player it's quinones um he's very very good and he also gets a nice strong link to Gignac, the Big Mac, as Zwayback would call him. We'll start with Quinones. 91 pace, 76 dribbling, and 70 shootings. 5 foot 10, high medium work rates, 3 goals, and 6 assists in 6 games. So he did contribute quite nicely, as did Gignac. 73 pace, 74 dribbling, 83 shooting, 71 passing, and 80 physical. 6 foot tall, medium, medium work rates, sorry, 6 foot 2, medium, medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. 7 goals, and 6 assists in 6 games. That's ridiculous. Like, I can't even contemplate that record. One game he got, I think, 4 or 5 goals. Absolutely ruined my defense, like the opposition's defenses. It was insane how good he is. He's probably one of the best cheap strikers on this game. And last but not least, we go for the final FIFA legend, Mike Onlyate, a former five star skiller, now chilling with four. 92 pace, 76 dribbling, 68 shot, and 61 passing. High low work rates, 5 foot 5, 2 star weak foot, and like I said, 4 star skill moves. 6 goals and 1 assist in the 6 games. Cost just 800 coins, so he's very cheap and he's very OP. This whole team is so OP and it costs no more than I think 25, 30k max. I wouldn't even say more than more than 25k, I'm going to be honest. It is ridiculous. I hope you have all enjoyed the team. Please like the clips out at the end. Please like, please subscribe, and I shall see you all next time. Bye guys.